Good morning, and this is Plus TV Africa. And off the press this morning, where we get to bring you the headlines from our national dailies. And we got just a couple with us this morning. And while at it, we'll also bring you an uh, in-depth analysis and review of what's making the headlines in our national dailies. Joining me this morning for that is social analyst Anuhivi Ayeni. Good morning, Anuhivi. Good morning, Ben. And how are you doing? And how's the practice of social distancing coming on for you? It's been very interesting. Okay. I've tried to keep to it as much as possible when i'm actually in the car right now no more ac we just wind the glass down yeah. so that we can have the fresh air blowing back and forth mm. and i was at kfc yesterday and i had to stand somewhere and then and speak my order to the lady so we're trying to keep to it as much as possible it's very very necessary at this point in time and, and do you think people are doing good enough with the social distancing practice because some people still don't get it uh, people come as close as to you sometimes. I begin in my mind like, hey, I'm sorry, didn't you get the memo? You're too close to me right now. Six feet, move, move, move. Like, <laughs> All right, let's get into the daily this morning and we start off with the Punch newspaper and of the press. The first headline in the Punch this morning reads, security threat, NCC begins removal of 693 Hazardous masts. And that is on page 23 of the Punch newspaper. National Assembly made Hamed MFLA orders over failing economy. And Villa coverage, PDP, CSOs, knock Buhari for barring punch and others. Disquiet in FIRS as board sacks directors. Still in the punch this morning, London party attendees go into isolation and two guests die. Okoa, Osoba, Abiodun, Shangaba obey orders at Justice Oguntade's birthday. Doctors obtain Abakiari's medical records from British Hospital. And another speaker tests positive. Obasaki, Faimi, Sule in self-isolation. Cases rise to 51. Rivers, Kogi, or your orders, short state borders. Military airlift medical supplies, detection kit from China. And NNPC spent 218 billion naira on alien refineries in 2019. Lagos to discontinue 566 cases being prosecuted by police. And lastly, in the punch this morning, Quara bans commercial vehicle operation, shots, churches, and mocks, and still on an attempt to forestall and curtail the spread of the pandemic coronavirus. And it, the, the, the news seems to be more. Uh, we're getting to hear more people in government who have been tested positive for, for this. And of latest is um, the COS of the president yesterday, Abba Kiari, um, and a few, Bauchi State Governor, Kogi State Governor, and now um, somebody also in a dose state. And we're having the principal officers going into self-isolation. What is happening here? It shows the circle of influence. Um, first of all, when this coronavirus started, when the alarm was raised in November, December last yes. year in China, they, every year, China, they have this very big festival that people go to from all around the world. For all those who have contacted the disease has been from attending that. And from attending that to others, it, that's why I said it shows the circle of influence yes. and the people we speak to. So these have been in the circle of influence of those that are actually in the know and are able, would have reached Wuhan or somewhere in China mm. around. So it just shows who is speaking to who, where and when yes. and how it's happening. When we see the news of people who are not in government, when we hear those who are not in government, the names and the reach of those who are not in government, it brings a, like for example, Atiku's son, I think he was coming back from um, Abu Dhabi or somewhere. He wasn't coming from London or America. Yeah. It just shows the circle of influence of people. That's what it speaks to me, the circle of influence. influence. And, and then for Abba Kiari, the COS to the president, one would have thought because he did travel, we heard he did travel after the cases were already confirmed and two of the countries he traveled to were countries who were already listed, listed and listed as high rig zones not to travel to. So one would expect someone of his repute and intelligence to know better what to do. And when he came, he went to a few places, met with a few governors, yes. went to Kogi State. And, and, and it bothers me a little bit how responsible and accountable our leaders are to, to, to his citizens. And was it that he wasn't aware? 
I would think it will be a fact of, I will give him the benefit of the doubt of yes. saying he wasn't aware because, you know, there are things that we're used to doing every day. But the if pandemic you, was already a, a known phenomenon. I that, mean, that is something yes. that he would have not have looked at as a pandemic at that time. And you could, you could say, this might have been a, a, a trip that was planned, a meeting that was scheduled for a particular time. Yes. And he needed to meet it. For his position in government and for the fact that Nigeria is an international country, um, in the global world and everything, we're interacting with people every day. He would have attended those meetings, met up with those commitments that he needed to meet up with so that he can say, okay, I have done this. Unfortunately, somewhere along the line, he was, he, there was this carelessness, unfortunately, not on his part. No? Yes. He didn't, I'm sure it was not deliberate carelessness. It must have been something that must have occurred beyond what he thought he could. It could have been anywhere that he contacted yeah. it. I mean, if it's in, in, in some circle, people are questioning the, the safety and, and the precedence right now. The vice president's on self isolation. We heard the president's medical report on the test coming out negative yesterday. And so we argued that, that Abba Kiari seems to be like his right hand man. And, Yes, he will, is. Will he say he's not had contact with Abakiari in the last 24 hours, 48 hours, 72 hours? And what, what is the validity of that test? Maybe we're questioning that. And the precedence, it seems to be like, at the end of the day, we might be running um, the presidency on self-isolation from home offices, just like the vice president is doing. What is pertinent for our government at this point in time? What do you think is necessary for them to look into at this point in time? At this point in time, it's necessary for them to allay the fears of the people and tell us the real, the, and, and say the real truth of things as it's progressing with them. As of today, the, the yes. cases reported at 51. Do you think there are more of those cases, but maybe just the, 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 um, the how to put it in place to get the proper exact figures, we, we still don't have it because we're short of testing kids. And good yeah. news, um, some just arrived into the country at the Inamde Aziku International Airport. I feel that there are more cases. Okay. Unfortunately, I hate to undetected. say that. Undetected cases. Because this virus is, could have been transmitted anyhow. And talk about those people who are working at the airports, the immigration officials, for example, the baggage handlers, the protocol in the in, uh, NCAA, National um, the, uh, Airport Authority. The Authority. All the people working in that, have they all been tested? The immigration officials, have they all been tested? Not just the big government officials, now text the people who are on hand. Text the people who would have, who will have had no choice but to come in contact with some of these people. Yes. Abba Kiari on arrival entered into a car. Somebody drove that car. Yes. He must have hugged his wife, his children and everything. Received have an they, entourage likely? Received, yeah. yes. Well, and then the security that would have been around him. Have all those people been tested? I think we should stop narrowing to a certain a narrow path and widen the testing for everybody. I think everybody that is in contact with government officials, airport and um, um, what's um, the name? Immigration. The I think yeah. they should all be tested. All those people that walk around airports and border controls, they should all be tested because they are potential undetected cases. Who will go to their homes with, without a care that, oh, I'm not coughing, so nothing is happening to me. I don't have a headache, so nothing is happening to me. In, in retrospect, if, if this was a situation whereby most of these um, elitists could travel out of the country, good thing there was a ban, most mm. of them would have sought treatment, Hopefully, cure yeah. outside the country. Now, what do you think the government should pay attention to when it comes to our health sector? Do you think they would do the needful at this point in time? Because we're all affected. We're all humans right now, both high, low, rich, poor, are affected by this. Do you think, hindsight, do you think this would bring about a reformation and transformation of our health system in Nigeria after now? I feel it will. Okay. I feel it will. And it's up to us as well, the citizens of Nigeria, in, the, in our decision making, that we just don't go for business as usual because everything is okay. Ebola was okay, so it was okay to govern and run Nigeria like it usually does. But now to realize that this is not a respecter of persons. Now, Prince Charles is involved. Our own government here is involved. State governors are testing positive. Edo State Speaker has tested positive. Governor is on self-isolation. Isolation, yes. And Lagos State, we thank God that our our governor is still going up and up down and, and that he will still he will be okay and everybody else that is working with him who have no choice but to come in contact with people who are affected with some of these things that they keep 
So it's up to us now to actually demand from our government, demand from the people that this is what needs to be done. Now, homes are easy to go to because they are comfortable. Churches, mosques are easy to run into. They are comfortable. The hospitals that are supposed to be in use right now, everybody wants to run away from them because they are not. And like someone said, all the money that has been looted to build all these places, maybe they will now use the money to actually beef up the hospital so that they will yeah. feel comfortable in their own hospitals yeah. as well. And, and just to clear the air right there, for people who were thinking the Lagos State government meant a total, complete shutdown, shutdown they've come yeah. to clarify that right now. It's not a, a total <laughs> shutdown like people think it's going to be. Banks are going to operate. They just ask banks to intensify and ensure that their um, they um, internet systems are working effectively so people can access money and avoid coming into the banking halls. Still just yes. part of the way to practice social distancing. Distance. And markets who sell food stuff, um, pharmaceutical stores are also available for people who might need medicinal care. So um, let's just clear that out this morning. It's, it's not a total shutdown. You can still assess some stuff if you need your medicines, your food. Uh, and the banking all as much as possible. I think people should even, people are actually avoid it. But again, the question comes, the use of the ATM. Who's yes. going to be there to, to constantly sanitize the ATM after every use? I think individuals should just do what is necessary for them. And I think the banks can. Okay. The banks can. They can tell all the those officials that they have at the gates that look at a, after every hour, every 30 minutes, every 15 minutes, just go and span clean the ATMs. Every yeah. time it's quiet, go yes. there and clean. It's something that can be done. It does, it's, it's not rocket science to be done. It's just to take the sanitizer and clean the ATMs after yes. every 15 minutes, after every 10 minutes, because the traffic to the ATMs will not be so huge now. now. So there will be enough time for them to do that. And having said that, you know, talking about social distancing and people still coming out, like I said, it's something that is embedded into us, right from for how many years, how many, how, how many years old are we? How old this coronavirus that is making people run away. Yes, people are getting used to the fact that it's um, it's deadly, and so there is there is a fear that um, makes people run away. But there's also the fact that people are used to coming out every single, every single day. day. Yes. They are used to the contact every single day. Some people, if they don't have that, if they don't see that person have that kind of conversation, they shut down. Yes. So I don't think government even wants to have to face people, unfortunately, dying right. in their homes. All right. Let's let's go to the Nation dailies this morning. Asso Rock in Pasch your lockdown, no need to panic. Virus spreads to rivers as weak as short borders. And still in the nation this morning, governors in self-isolation as ministers on the go test. CBN unveils 50 billion Naira COVID-19 stimulus. And this and more making the headlines in the nation newspaper this morning. Do you think we've seen the worst of this virus? Do you think we've seen the worst of it? Do you think there's about to be a blow over? I might, no, that's a prayer that okay. I have. I cannot, I, I cannot say, but it's a prayer yes. that I have that. With, with the level of will, enlightenment, education, and sensitization going on, do you think it, it will be curbed? If, if there was, it was meant to go out of spiral, as it is right now, do you think with all of this level of awareness and what has been done and put in place, do you think that somewhere will curtail it? I mean, um, and that we've seen the worst of its harm? It's it's a prayer. It's not that it's not because it, we have done enough. Because it is a prayer. See, it, is, it is a prayer. Because the reality is when we come out even when we came out this morning, yes. there were still the public transport um, drivers still shouting for passengers. Which, which and is those a concern. vehicles, those vehicles yeah. are still packed full. That's why I said it's a prayer that the grace of God will go over all of, all of this to make it happen. Because if it is to go by the physical things that people are doing, while some are doing the right thing. Others are not, and it's not because they don't care, but because of their livelihood. Now, is there anything the Lagos State Governor can do in regards to public transport system in the Lagos? It, it can't totally shut they them down. So I mean, mm -hmm. should we have a restriction of numbers if, if it's a, it, an 18 bus seater or 12 bus seater, the number of people each driver should carry? Now, it will not become a thing of enforcing that. Yes. That, that is extra duties for, for, for the, um, the, 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 is it last man for the last small officials? And National, National Union of Road, Road Transport yeah, workers, workers that Lagos State Government has been having meetings with. Because even the buses now, they take 47, the long ones take 47 people but apparently they've been that's, told that that's they should, a huge that's yes a huge that's a huge number they're not up to 50 but they have actually told them that they should only take about 42 maybe they've reduced the numbers now what they, i think the, this has to do with the leaders of the national road transport workers because if those leaders come out and tell their boys come boys you can't take more than 15 people in your bus you yes. can't take more than 10 people in your bus they will adhere to it because everybody will realize that this is for our safety yeah. because so many people are not out 
so the rush will not be too yeah, much. Yeah, so no, no matter what the, uh, the, the bus, whatever the bus capacity is, it should be half the, the yes. usual regular capacity of passengers to yes. be in that bus. Because I to think the asking the drivers and bus conductors to wear face masks and have, use hand sanitizers, how, much, how many of them really can adhere to that? Uh, some, of, some of them have been. My own okay. concern is also the fact of the, those conductors who are still in your face of give me your money and all those, and all those kind of things. Those are, the kind, the, those are the sort of things that right now they should stop. Because once those guys are still in the faces of people, they are breathing, they are breathing, and they will be, um, you know, there's all that co um, contamination that yes. will be going on. So if those guys can stop, which their leaders can tell them not to, for this moment, let everybody come in and pay their money. You know, like everybody round up, pay your money, and give it to the driver without having to have the, the contact of contamination. Uh, quickly, let's move to the Guardian newspaper this morning. First headline, Prince Charles tests positive but remains in good health. And Lawan Bajabia Miller made ministers orders over 2020 budget review. And Lagos residents storm markets, banks ahead of closure today. 20 Oshun judges and those speaker isolate selves as tribunal suspends sitting. Shut down beckons. And this is more making the headlines in the Nation newspaper. And the, 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 the story of um, Prince, Prince Charles making the rounds yesterday, I mean, it came as a shock to a whole lot of people. And one would have thought that the royal family, I mean, um, how that could have happened. And so it means nobody's actually immune to this Nobody. virus as it stands. Nobody. Because, you know, like we said, Benny, it's a circle of influence. His circle of influence, and, I mean, because he has had contact with him, there is a sportsman who is actually put himself in self-isolation isolation. now because he's had contact with Prince Charles. It's a circle of influence. The Iaclon of all these people will have had meetings. I mean, look at Abba Kerry, for example. Yes. It's got to be a high-powered meeting that he went for, that he contacted this. Prince Charles has got to be somewhere in a meeting or somewhere that he didn't know what, um, that the person had it. Must, there must have been maybe a sneeze or a handshake or something. And so, and so once, once there's a contact with an index case, yes. you must self-isolate. Yes. And so the issue of self-isolation will not come to bear if you've not contacted anybody on an index case. You could also self-isolate by, okay, if you think of anything, self-isolate. If a self contact isolate. has come in contact with a with contact. Cont of, a of a contact. A friend of mine, the daughter <laughs> arrived from the UK about 10 days ago. The father went to the airport to pick her up. Oh boy. Immediately he picked her up, took her to their home. And lucky because they've got two homes. So he took her to one of their houses, and he's been there in isolation with her for the number of days. And they will be there for 14 days before they rejoin the rest of the family once they are sure that they are both okay. And so you also said if you also suspect anything, because like yesterday I woke up with a headache. I'm like, oh boy, where's this coming from? Well, that, that's, uh, that's not enough. <laughs> no, but in this case, she, she was coming from the UK. UK. It's, 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 it's a yes. high risk zone. And so, yes, 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 of necessity, she yes, had to so do the that. the family did. Uh, all right, and lastly, let's look at the business state. We'd interest you to know we don't have so much headlines, but still on the coronavirus, um, Nigeria awaits tsunami of jobless, of jobless as um, coronavirus hits businesses. Coronavirus, how political leaders, recklessness, endangers Nigerians. And we've talked about that earlier. I mean, there's so much responsibility and accountability we expect from our, from our leaders, um, from the, the upper chamber, the lower chamber. And the other day, a video made the round of, of a senator who had a face mask on and wanted to sneeze oh, and took up, took up the face mask to sneeze. And I, I was wondering, like in the life of me, uh, why do you have the face mask on if you have to take it out to sneeze and infest the whole um, atmosphere? So, well, we should realize that power distance is a breaking down because of this. I mean, one, the, one of the positive things is that CBN, uh, for example, they brought out the 50 billion uh, Naira stimulus. Yes, and no also, small, yeah. we also have the fact that they are now cutting back on loan repayments. So maybe we are going to hear more from the indigenous banks, the first banks, the GT banks that says, look, if you have a loan and everything, your repayment, you are not under any obligation to pay this month or to pay in four months yes. or six months, but everything is being deferred until a particular time till we know exactly what is happening. People cannot do commerce. It's not just one person. It's not just two people. Mm. It's not deliberate. It's the whole world. So let's get real with whatever. Yeah. But, but, but many people will, 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 will argue that and say, you know, should, should it be as a case because of the, of the COVID-19? Isn't there something that should, in, in the long run, this like short-term palliatives, in the long run, shouldn't we really be considering most of these cutting our interest rates um, to enable small, medium enterprises I mean, Catch do business up. effectively? Yeah. Like they've always argued that it's not the fact that the our economy is not diversified, mm -hmm. that most of the diversified um, diversification don't have adequate funding. 
And so we just have one product, one mono economy product we focus on, which is oil. Yes. And, and look at what that has what has happened to that in the global market right yes. now. So one would expect at the end of the day that this should be something in, in the long term. The macroeconomic long terms of um, the economy should be put into consideration and not just the effect of coronavirus as it is. That, that is what, that's why one of the things that it comes to us as yeah. citizens and it comes to business leaders as right. well. And also the middle management of business, not yes. the, the middle management, the upper management of business to realize that, look, you've got to allow businesses to go run. If you don't give measures to allow businesses to run properly, they cannot make money. If all the money that people are making, they are pumping it into diesel, they are pumping it into government laws, they are pumping it into this form of taxation, that form of taxation, then there is no income coming in. So people are still having to live from hand to mouth. Well, yes. So just like you said, it's a time that we actually there's a revamp of policies yes. that govern our social well-being. Ani Huvi Ayeni, thank you very much for joining us this thank morning on Off the Press and for your insightful contributions. And thank you for staying with us. That's all we can take this morning on Off the Press. Join us again same time tomorrow. This is Plus TV Africa, and I am Benny Ark. Good morning.